So this plant with the punky foliage is known as spider plant or chlorophytum camosum. Camosum essentially just means tufts, which is probably referring to the fact that this has a tufted look. And also, if you can look at the little offsets, if I show you here, if they could get in focus, is, um, is that these look like little tufts, these little spider babies. So this plant is commonly known as spider plant or otherwise known as airplane plant. And I'm sure there's many other types of common names for this, but it is actually native all throughout Africa. I, it's probably in, a, in close to two dozen countries from like Uganda to Zaire to South Africa and, and beyond. And, um, but this has become a very popular commercial plant. So you will find it in garden centers and plant shops everywhere. And it's one of those ones that I started growing very early on and then it just kind of took over the house and I really wanted other types of plants other than the spider plant. But the spider plant is like the type of plant that will totally take over your life and just be like, I don't want you to have any other plant other than me. So the, the, the person in my family who actually grows the spider plants is my dad now. And every time he calls me, he's always just like, you won't believe how many spider plants I have. I have like 20 more. And that's just kind of how it is. So I would recommend this as a very good starter plant for a lot of people because it gives you a lot of confidence that you could actually just like grow plants. And um, as you could see, it just basically virtually propagates itself. And um, I should also show you this one. It has a little flower right here, if you could see. For some reason, my camera lens is not really focusing, which is unfortunate. But, um, but anyway, it gives these off these little white flowers. They don't have any kind of like, um, you know, noticeable smell or anything like that, but they are quite beautiful when, when they are in bloom. It's just a, a pretty insignificant bloom. I should also say that uh, this plant has some really intense roots. So even if you could see some of the roots that are kind of growing here on some of the, the baby spiders, if, if I actually pulled this out of its pot right here, you would see these really thick white roots that kind of remind me of like ghost carrots. They're just like really thick and, um, and they will take over the pot. So eventually you have to remove it. Um, and give it a bigger pot. And that's what happened when I was first growing these like three years ago, I had them in this, um, this kind of like uh, rectangular pot that was growing where most of my cacti and suc succulents are outside off, off of my Southwest facing window. And it just overtook that entire rectangular planter. And when I pulled it out, it was just like rectangular roots all the way around. And they were really, really thick roots. So I actually removed that spider plant, had to get rid of it and um, still had another one and I just pushed it in my southwest facing window which was like bad news for it because a southwest facing window is just too much light for it. So you really wanna give these plants bright indirect light to more moderate light and they'll be happy because too high of light, it's going to burn the plant. Now I do have a spider plant that is called Chlorophytum camosum boni and it's variegated and it has a little bit more um, curlier leaves and that one could, actually withstand a little bit more higher light because it doesn't have as much chlorophyll because it is variegated. So it has these white stripes. So you want to be mindful of that, but it still is not going to want to be in full sun. I think that's where it's going to damage the plant. Also, you will know when this actually needs water. It's not as vocal as I would say as like spathophyllum or dramatic, I would say as spathophyllum, which is the peace lily, which will just like kind of heal over and tell you that it needs more water, but this will have a much more muted color palette to it. So it'll get a very, very light green if you're not watering your plant. You can see that this foliage right now is a much darker green. This is the normal color for it, but if I don't water this for two weeks, it'll start to look a little um, uh, drab and, and like I said, muted. Otherwise, you know, in the spring and summer months, you're gonna wanna fertilize this with a normal uh, balanced fertilizer. So like a 111 or a 101010 if you're going the more synthetic route. And um, as far as propagation goes, I think you already know, they give off these little baby spiders or you could actually divide it if it gets to be a monster. <laughs>